It's time for Chalk Talk, live at Ron's Pizza. The Benjamin Logan girls golf team, after an impressive 10-0 season, about to come on the program. I'm Terry Lash, and you're listening to Chalk Talk on PickupOhio.com. And there you can hear interviews with local athletes and coaches. And one of the most successful teams from this fall season, you want to meet right now, that'd be the Benjamin Logan girls golf team. Very lucky to have them on bar. got Coach Ty Ann, and we also got Coach Jana Mitchell in here, Ty Ann Harner, Coach coaches i should say thank you so much for joining the program sure thank you excited to be here it's been a wild ride 10 and 0 in the regular season and cbc matter for division champs what's it been like for you guys i mean it's got to be a lot of fun when you have so much success it it is it's um with this group of girls they're just wonderful and they work so hard you don't have to tell them to go practice because they're already out practicing so um, it's just been a ton of fun, a great group of girls. So what's it like practicing for you guys? How much are you guys out there on the greens? How much work are you putting in the off season? The off season, we have a lot of girls here that have worked really hard in the off season. Um, our season doesn't start until August first, but they were out there in June, July, practicing, um, and even over the winter they were working out and practicing and trying to improve their game. That's impressive. Usually a little bit hard to do golf in the winter, so. Really committed group of girls, it sounds like you got here. Yes. Absolutely. At what point did you know this was a special season? Um, we heard some rumors that we had some pretty good <laughs> girls coming up. <laughs> and, um, we knew um, last season because we, we had a, a good season last week, last year. And we knew with um, combining, combining with the freshmen coming in that we were going to really be tough and um, – and on it happened. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. So at what point in the year did you realize, man, we are just crushing people? I believe the closest contest I saw from the 10 schedule was a 32-stroke game. I mean, pretty not a close match there. I mean, you guys are just yeah. running through people. It, does it make it a little bit harder to coach them right then when you're winning so much? We're, we're cheerleaders. <laughs> 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 we are their number one fan. Besides our parents, of course, mm-hmm. but um, it's it's pretty easy to coach somebody who mm-hmm. wants to play the game and wants to better themselves. So that part of our job is really really easy. Um, we are there for their support. You know, they, most of them have their own swing coaches, and we just go there and we're, we're kind of water girls sometimes, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and just there for moral support. And to add to it. Um, these girls are very competitive within the team. Uh-huh. And so going to the matches, I mean, we, we knew we were probably going to beat the other team, but they were so driven to beat each other, to push each other, and, um, and to beat the course. Um, I think they were always going out to try to get a PR that round. You know, they were trying to beat the course that round. So I think... Yes, our competition was not re- not at the level that we were at, but within, they were able to push each other and then continue to get better and better because of that, I believe. Sounds like a group of really driven girls, and you don't right. always get that at the high school level, whatever sport you play. And is that something they just naturally have, or how did that come about? They can probably no. answer that. <laughs> <laughs> they are driven. Um. The freshmen and the upperclassmen, we all just have a love for the game and we want to get better And because we have goals past high school golf. Um, and we all, we just want to do the best that we can on every match because that's all we can do. Yeah, it seems like you guys did that very well this year. We're actually going to bring the girls on right now. We're going to have them pass the microphone and introduce themselves here on Pick Up Ohio Chalk Talk, saying their name and their grade. I'm Miley Simovar. I'm a junior. I'm Gabrielle Schmidt, junior. I'm Leah Valentine, and I'm a freshman. I'm Sydney West, and I'm a freshman. I'm Willow Titus, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Olivia Hahn, and I'm a freshman. I'm Tara Lafferty. I'm a freshman. I'm going to stick with Miley over here. And... Been a great year for you guys and a great year for you individually and your co-CBC Mad River 
division player of the year is sitting to your left right over here. So that's pretty cool stuff for you guys to have such success. So at what point in the year did you realize that you're competing more against your teammates a lot of times than against the competition out there? Uh, I knew before the season started that it was going to be a really good competition on the team. Mm -hmm. And I definitely think that co-player of the year describes our season Mm -hmm. really well because we went back and forth and we both had really good days and we both had not as good days. And um, we always wanted to uh, beat each other. And we went back and forth so much that we both deserve, I think we both deserve the Player of the Year award. Is there ever a little bit of a rivalry that built up between you two? I mean, you guys are going against each other every <laughs> single game. There was definitely a rivalry. <laughs> um but we both want each other to do well. I know I want her to do well because it benefits the whole team. And it's so much more fun to have the whole team winning. To win CBCs was so fun um, to be a junior and um, helping all these freshmen. It's just a lot more fun when the whole team wins. Uh, it's just a really fun season. Yeah, I can imagine. So we're going to get it over to Sydney now. All right, so you're a freshman with the program, correct? Yes. Okay, so what was it like out there for you getting to the high school game and having the season that you did? It was different than the rest of tournaments I've done. Um, well, what's your favorite part about it? What did you like about the CBC action in particular? Just having the team and knowing that if I didn't do well, that everybody else could do well and we still could win. We talked about a little bit of a rivalry between you two. At what point did you realize that was developing? Um, the first match. <laughs> <laughs> So from the get-go. So you guys knew that you got some really talented players right here, and you just went back and forth at it. How often were you peeking over your shoulder and seeing how she was doing? She did it. She did. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> so you're, uh, I guess, more of the calm one, focused on yourself, and you're, you're trying to see what's going on out there. Yeah. <laughs> I got some superlatives from you guys. I'm going to ask some questions. And what you're going to do is you're going to vote on which person sitting right here best matches that description. Who is the loudest player on the team? <laughs> uh, not even a hesitation. All right, you've been named loudest player on the team. Do you think that's fair? <laughs> what, are, what are some instances where you were the loudest, where everyone knew that you were around? Uh, when I would get mad in a match. <laughs> Did that happen very often? Yes. <laughs> Did it happen every single time? Most of the time. <laughs> so, uh, have you guys ever seen Happy Gilmore? Are you familiar with the movie? <laughs> if there was one Happy Gilmore on the team, are we talking to her right now? <laughs> now, how hard is it to control your emotions when you're out there on the golf course? Hard. <laughs> <laughs> is that the hardest part of the game for you? Yeah. Is that something you want to work on or you just enjoy it like that? I do not enjoy it. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so we have the loudest member of the team and the Happy Gilmore Award. Next question. (laughs) Most likely to go to a haunted corn maze and start crying. Sydney. What? (laughs) Most likely to go to a haunted corn maze and start crying in there. Uh, She says yes. (laughs) All right, so we got a couple of people. I think we're going with Sydney. Sydney, would you ever do that? Would you ever go to a haunted corn maze, a haunted house, haunted trail, anything haunted? No. No? <laughs> why, why not? You don't think it sounds like fun? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite fall time activity then if you're not going out there to a haunted corn? Uh, golf. <laughs> <laughs> you do anything else besides golf in the fall time? Celebrate the season. Um. Halloween. <laughs> Big fan of Halloween? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just loves her golf. She is very committed. That's going to lead right into the next question, though. Who would have the best Halloween costumes coming up in a few weeks here? Who do you think would have Taylor. the best Halloween costumes? We costume? think Taylor would have the best costume. All right. So Taylor is chosen for the best costume. Taylor, do you like Halloween, first of all? Are you a big fan of Halloween? Uh, I haven't been big on it, big on it for like the last three years it just i don't go to it anymore you're just not a big fan Mm -hmm. but if you could have a particular halloween costume that you decide you know what it would be if you Um, could i've always wanted to be the big inflatable man walking (laughs) around like big big, like almost like i don't know what do they call those like they blow up and like you like you look not like the two men the ones that like do this actually no 
What is it? Those wrestlers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. like a sumo yeah. suit. You want to be in a yes, sumo suit. I would do that. <laughs> is, so is that a dream of yours? One day you could wear a sumo suit? It's not a dream. Yeah. I think how fun it would be just to walk around in it. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be pretty fun, too. Who is the most entertaining on long van rides, bus rides, going to matches? Who is the most entertaining? <laughs> Bill Taylor. All right. Uh, yeah, what do you like to do on long bus rides? I will stand up and walk around, basically. The entire time? Yeah, almost. <laughs> but why? Why are you standing up? No, What's going on? I would go to other seats and like just join them. And then I'll go up. <laughs> Grab the snack bag. <laughs> I'll go up, grab the snack bag, and throw it in a seat, basically. And then I would. <laughs> I think Coach Hunter's learning some of these things for the first time right now. <laughs> and we're getting some doubting for everything. What else are you doing on the bus? What are you performing any concerts on there? Is you guys get jacked up? You start singing. I'll talk a lot. You talk a lot. Music. Um, I'll annoy them a bunch. <laughs> Purpose, purposefully, is that something you're trying yeah, to do? Okay. Just, gotcha. Yeah. It's just a personality. All right. So, do you control the music if you guys are listening to something before? <laughs> it's before either Leah. Yeah. All right. Let's go, Leah. See what she has to say. What music is going to be on? <laughs> what music are you guys listening to before you guys go out there? Uh, uh, I don't. We listen to a, a lot of different kind of music. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you listening to? Uh, like I don't know. <laughs> oh. Well, me and Willow are fans of '80s rock, so okay. usually it's just us on the bus. Sometimes yeah. going home, so that's what we like to put on '80s classic rock. <laughs> now, do you guys have any sing-alongs ever? Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. What's, what's the number one sing-along song? Yeah, don't stop believing. <laughs> That's always a good one, especially after a win. I think don't stop believing just nice it's exclamation perfect point. Match. Yes. Who is the Snapchat queen? Who is the person that's spending the most time on Snapchat? <laughs> Who's posting longest stories? Leah, again, you you're cleaning up right now. <laughs> you're crushing these. All right, so what's your longest story? What do you think is going to be? How long is that long story of yours? Long. <laughs> uh, how long? How are you thinking? Uh, I don't know. It's. You guys can probably vouch for it. Is it really long? Very long. Mm -hmm. My story can be very eventful sometimes. Great. Do you like to chronicle your matches? Nah. <laughs> Not no, so much? No. <laughs> Just everything else? Yeah. And what do you guys use to communicate most of the time? I, I This is just for me. I think it's very interesting. I feel like Snapchat's taking over even text messaging. Yeah. You use a group text? text or I give it back over here. So you got you guys have a group text? Yeah, we have a group text because not everybody has Snapchat. Olivia. <laughs> oh, wow. And Sydney don't have Snapchats because they're lame. So we, <laughs> we use a group we use a group text, which is still fun. Um oh, if people read it. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Who's the most entertaining in the group text? Um Who's make everyone else laugh the most? Taylor. I'm not sure. I heard Taylor. We don't, we honestly, we don't, we just, we see each other so much. We don't feel the need to text mm -hmm. that often. <laughs> so <laughs> we spend a lot of time right. together because matches are long nights. So we don't, mm -hmm. what? So yeah. yeah, it is honestly pretty true. So we don't really like joke around in the group text that much because we do it in person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You seem like a very close group. How, has it always been like that? Is that something you guys developed or how long have you guys been this close? I'll give it over here. Oh, definitely the team bonding Zubazy Bay trip. Oh, that, that sounds like fun. Eventful. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, obstacle course. Definitely. <laughs> now, I was there like three weeks ago. I went there for Labor Day. And I remember looking at the obstacle course. I didn't do it. I failed miserably. Who was the best out of you guys at the obstacle course? I hurt myself. You hurt yourself. <laughs> 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 right. How many? Wait, I think I went twice. <laughs> My least is the best? Definitely. All right. We're going to get back over to her. No, no, stop. Our coaches right. like to dab sometimes. It's embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> now, how fast yeah. did you get through it? How fast did you get through the obstacle course? Um, Faster than everybody else. I didn't have to go that fast because they all fell in the water. <laughs> <laughs> all 
The slow and steady could have won the race. Is that your favorite part about Zoom PC Pay? What was your guys' favorite part about the team bonding experience? Um, I liked I any 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 slide that we were we could have more than one person or like three people in a tube. It was so fun because you're like screaming together. Yeah, mixing up like the groups was really fun. No, I did the one where like it's a big tube and you go around in circles and yeah, circles yeah. and circles. Is that the cyclone? Yeah, okay. it is. All right. There's a massive drop off there that I didn't see coming because my back was to the wall. Did you guys yes! all know it was going to come? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. my God. Did you guys ever know what to talk about? We're going to back over to here. Did you see that coming? No. I didn't either. <laughs> Leah. <laughs> I did to say, oh, yeah, there's a drop. Like, yeah. Yes. Right as she was going like, down. Right as I dropped. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. How scared were you on a scale of one to ten? Good thing I went to a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'll put you at a 10 then. Yes. Yeah. I don't blame you though. I remember going down and I'm holding on for dear life. Like, I'm coming out of this thing. I'm gonna be sliding around and falling I down. I was coming out. Yeah. So do you guys do stuff like that very often? Team bonding experiences, going to places like Zoom BC Bay, or is that like a once a year type of deal? Um we don't we, we don't together yeah. but mm-hmm. mostly our golf matches yeah. and practices. <laughs> Well, they end up being like the Zoom Easy Bay trip because mm-hmm. we goof off yeah. <laughs> all the time. So no matter where you guys are at, you guys are having a great time. It seems oh, like yes. you're very close. And it makes it a lot easier when you're having the season like you guys are having right now. <laughs> guys, when are you guys next in action? When can we see you next? Um, next Wednesday, the 26th. Mm-hmm. Wednesday, the 26th, we go to sectionals. We'll be playing at Stillwater. We don't know our tea times yet, but um, we hope to make it out of there. Uh, they t- pick the top four teams. They make it out of there, and then we would be heading to districts, hopefully. And that is on October third. And where's Stillwater at? Where is that located? I think it's for in sales. For sales. For sales. For sales. Right. I think that's. I think it's. I think it might be Bradford, Ohio, but it's really close to Versailles. All that same area yeah. over there. Mm-hmm. All righty. Hey, so if you want to go support them, they've had such a great season this year. You're not going to want to miss them. See them in action. The Benjamin Logan Girls Golf Team. They're a fantastic group. A lot of fun. And hey. We'll see how far you guys can go because it's been a pretty magical ride so far. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you. Thank you. Go check them out. Again, they're going to be in action a week from tonight. If you want to see them in Stillwater, that's the Benjamin Logan Girls Golf Program. When we come back, it's time. This has been Shock Talk, live from Ron's Pizza on South Main and Bell Fountain. You can listen to tonight's episode on Pico.